I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus X407M model and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to how you can dramatically increase the speed of your laptop just by replacing or upgrading your mechanical drive to a solid state drive and you can do a really cheap way a really cheap brand of solid state drive nowadays they're like a they're really cheap this one with the A data uh really low grade but much faster than the mechanical drive that you have i'll leave the link in the description but i would recommend you to guys to grab any samsung brands ssds they are much they will last you longer period of the time comparing to a kingston or adapter so or a data and so what what do you need to do this process you need a solid state drive and obviously you will need a windows 10 a USB image so I'll make a link on my video description to a video that I made how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive you will need this Windows 10 boot drive so because after you swiping the hard drives you will not have any operating system in this new drive it would just tell you that there is no operating system so what you need to do is to use your Windows USB drive that you created and once you did the swipe you want to plug this one in and you're gonna power it on and you wanna install it from the USB drive so you have a new Windows installed in the hard drive. I made another video how to install the Windows, so check that video if you wanna know how to install it. I'll make uh, for this video. All right, but in this video, we're just gonna cover up how to remove the hard drive and how to place this one in. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely. Then you wanna flip it upside down and on the bottom here you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws there is no hidden screw there's one in the middle people usually miss this and two in the back middle there's like a little triangle there there are three sides of screws in here three sets of different screws there's a really long screws right here this one this one and this one and there is a medium screws which are in the side one in every corner one on every side so this one and these two these two are medium size screws these are the long size screws and the front four these are the short screws so we're going to remove all these screws to remove them you need a screwdriver set i use the ifixit screwdriver set they have an s2 class steel beds which means they will last you a very long time you're going to use a phillips number one and also you will need a opening tool you can get a pro set of this screwdriver set which includes your opening tools and some tweezers or you can simply get yourself a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick with a sharp nice soft edges these are really suitable to opening in cases all right so what we're going to do right now we're going to start removing all the screws keep the screws in different piles should you should have like a three separate piles also i realized there's only one percent of my viewers are subscribing to the channel if you guys might find my video really helpful and helping you guys out and if you want to support the channel just click that like button on the video and think about subscribing it really helps and motivates me to make more video take requests and answer your questions i really appreciate it all right now that we remove the screws you can see i have one pile for the short one medium and the long screws now what you want to do you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right away here just like that now you want to just rotate and just twitch it around just like this walk around all the way to the corner make sure you hit those clicks also you will need to go on the top by the usb just twist it towards the center do the same thing on the other side just put it right here twist twist once you did the sides and the front then what you need to do is just lift it up slowly and gently bring it up and you want to see two ribbon cable or flex cables right here one is for the trackpad and one is for the keyboard to remove this 
uh, flex cable, don't pull on them. You want to damage them. What you need to do is you put your fingernail right under this white cover right there, under it, and just lift it up 90 degrees. And then just pull it out simply like that. And then close the lock so you don't damage it. With this one, you want to pull this black cover up. So put your finger right there and lift up the black cover 90 degrees upward. It should be like really loose like that. And then you just slide the flex cable backward. One comes forward, this one goes the other way around. Once you did that, then you can fully open the laptop and remove the palm rest. This is the palm rest with the trackpad. You want to put that to one side. And you can see the battery is right at the back. You don't want to disconnect the battery, just leave it like that. The hard drive is just right over here. To remove the hard drive, you have to remove the caddy that holds the hard drive in place. There's one, two, three, four screw holds it. There's only one screw that is different than the rest, is the one that touches the hinge right here. This is a little bit thicker screw. So keep this in on one side and remove the rest, the three of them. Also, if you want to keep your mechanical drive, you can keep it and you can add an M.2 drive right over here. Just right under this home right here, you can add an M.2. So you can keep this one as a second storage if you want. And I don't have an M.2 here, this is an Optane. But M.2 looks exactly like this almost. You want to grab your M.2 and you want to stick it right in the connector right in there. Make sure it goes all the way in, just like that. And bring it down and it's find a really tiny screw and screw it right there. You can get the screws for M.2 screws, the really tiny short screws, and you can put it right there and you can install your windows in here and then you can format this storage and this hard drive to keep it as a second storage. So you can have two hard drives in here. We can have SSD for the windows installed on M.2 and have the mechanical drive for extra storage. But if you want to just go SSD SATA in here, once you remove the screws, just pull it back, slide it all the way back, and lift it up and remove it. There's a hard drive and there's the caddy. So what you need to do, we need to make sure you know, the position of the SATA and the power cable has to be on the same position, so you don't want to put it the other way around, otherwise it will flip over. So keep it like that. Now we need to remove the caddy. It's been held down by four screws. One, two, three, four. So remove the four screws. You do not void the warranty by doing this. The time only you want to void the warranty if you puncture this screw right there. It has a little label right on top. So when you remove all the screws, just grab the hard drive to the same position, put it to one side, and grab the one and place it in the same orientation and put the screws right beside it. There we go. Now you have the SST is much lighter than the other one. You want to grab it, place it in an offset position, and then slide it towards the jack all the way in. Make sure the screw holes match and it's nice and tucked in there. Put the thicker screw right by the hinge first, right there, and then press Place the rest of the three screws right on the caddy. And now you are set. And the last step would be to just install your windows. Grab the palm rest, put the back end down just like that. And then bring it over. Close the screen a little bit so you get more space. Now what you want to do here, you want to open the lock. If your lock is in a lock position, if you jack, unlock it. Evenly straight on the back goes right into the jack. Make sure it's evenly in there. The ribbon cable, and then hold it with one finger and then lock it down. Has to go straight in. And the same thing here. This one you want to unlock it, and the jack goes front end. Just slide it underneath. There you go. It's about one millimeter. It has to go in, and then lock it down. Now you want to bring the cover on top and you just want to pinch the top and the bottom. Pinch them together and you should hear a few clicks. And do this back, press the sides and all that. And last thing will be to just turn it 
upside down. Now remember the long screws goes in a triangle in the middle and the medium on the sides and the front end is the short one. And again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys to do your own hard drive upgrade for your Asus X407M model. If it did and you liked it, please click that like button and think about subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the video comment and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.